With 2020's upcoming presidential election, various candidates are proposing bold policies they believe will win votes and swing the election in their favor. In our view, although these campaign promises may stoke fear for some and give hope to others, history shows candidates' most dramatic rhetoric on the campaign trail rarely becomes reality. While both parties fear the other winning the presidency, in reality, we believe neither will be able to do as much as people think if elected. The Constitution's checks and balances were designed to limit executive power. Congress's legislative power and the Supreme Court's judicial authority were designed to limit a president from implementing sweeping changes unilaterally. Unlike monarchs, presidents can't do as much within their own powers as many assume. Only Congress can write and pass laws. Even when the president's party controls Congress, it often isn't easy to pass sweeping reform. The president can issue executive orders or amend rules through regulatory agencies. But this isn't an unchecked power, as it's subject to judicial review. The Constitution limits the scope of presidential rulemaking, and the judicial branch, including the lower federal courts and the Supreme Court, has a long record of keeping an overreaching president in check. However the presidential election goes, the congressional elections are just as important, too. Ultimately, stocks love gridlock since it tends to make passing sweeping, controversial legislation difficult, lowering legislative risk. Currently, the Democrats control the House of Representatives and the Republicans control the Senate with a slight majority, representing inter-party gridlock. At this point, there are too many unknowns surrounding congressional races to ascertain the most likely outcomes in 2020. When it comes to campaign promises and political grandstanding, what markets dislike isn't the lofty rhetoric itself, but the uncertainty it creates. In this way, campaign season can weigh on markets early in an election year, but uncertainty often falls considerably as the year progresses. Regardless of the ultimate victor in 2020, uncertainty largely fades once there's a clear winner, and that's often bullish for markets, especially if legislation dampening gridlock persists. We believe this is why markets historically post stronger returns in an election year's second half. That's all for this edition. For more, please visit our Election Hub online or read the Market Minder section of our website. If you enjoyed this video, you can click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified when we publish new content.